When I lay out my colours, I put a good dose of the colour from the tube on the edge of the palette and then I mix water into that. I don't put a whole lot of water out and mix and add paint madly because I will finish up with too pale a puddle of paint and I will waste a lot of pigment that way. This well is on an angle and so a colour like cobalt that is quite heavy in pigment will tend to fall to the bottom here so I will always have a gradated wash in here if it sits for any length of time. When I'm changing from one colour to another I just spray the colour out which dilutes my, pit, my puddle a little but wastes very little paint. Normally I would work from light to dark. So here is my yellow, I'm adding a little bit of colour and I'm starting to blend that colour into the water. If I'm going from clear of Orleolin to raw sienna, I do not have to wash the brush because the yellow is an inherent part of the raw sienna colour and it is not going to hurt it. I'm also using a synthetic brush which doesn't mind a little bit of rubbing and scrubbing and that saves my good brushes from this mundane uh, mixing part of the process. There is no point in mixing your colour with a huge mop, mop brush, you're just going to waste far too much pigment in doing that. I can go from this colour to the burnt sienna and also do not need to wash because the colours are compatible and I'm working from light to dark and therefore the mixing is quite seamless when I'm within a range of a hue. It doesn't work quite the same with the blues because they have <coughs> inherently different characteristics. Into my cerulean which also has a slightly heavier pigment as it is not a brand that has a thallo base for this colour. I'm mixing up quite a lot of paint and that means that when I'm ready to paint I have the paint accessible and ready to go. I don't have to wait. Now I've run out of puddles on an angle so I am this time using just a scooped bowl to mix the ultramarine in. I can keep some of the pigment at the edge so that that pigment is a little richer than what is in the, the main puddle. You can't have just puddle paint. You also need real pigment that is undiluted for accents. And this is the palette that I work with. This range of colours are the ones I use for almost all of my work. This is a rose matter. I don't have a purple. I make my purples from the, the rose matter and the cobalt blue and ultramarine blue that I use. Turquoise is a richer greenish hue. Um, than the cerulean and from these colours and these colours I can mix almost any green that you care to name.